we will have no uh, our activity today no this will be our last experiment number five and this is about parallel connected resistances our objective for this activity is to confirm or verify the three principles that governs parallel connected resistances and uh, we already discussed that one no and we will simply confirm it now no when we do our simulation so we welcome Kyle and Kyle is here now now uh, let me connect our device now now let me uh, go to the simulator okay so we are now on our simulator and let's see now if we are able to see so we attach earlier we attach earlier three resistances so these are uh no two resistances. good morning good morning we are recording our experiment now so we can others can see this later so we are performing the series or parallel connected resistances and all that we need now is to complete this and close these parallel connected devices now so we already attach three uh three ammeters ammeters are used to measure current and the one at the top so the ammeter at the top this one at the top is the i total or the ammeter total this will be our i1 and this will be our i2 so basically now if we look at our circuit as as uh In terms of our schematic diagram, then we have here the two resistances. Now, the labels of our resistances, we have 10 and another 10 ohms, but we will we will adjust the value of this one later on. Now, let's begin with our voltage. Let's adjust the voltage to something like 18 volts. So we set our battery to 18 volts. Our resistance... Our first trial, no? so our R1 is equivalent to 13, R2 is 15 ohms. Now, can you record that one, please? Now, to be able to measure our voltage, then we need a voltmeter. No? We will connect our voltmeter later to our circuit. No? Now, uh, again, uh, R1 is 13.5, R2 is 15 ohms, and this is our trial 1. Our total voltage is 18 volts, and we will now uh, switch on the circuit. And here are our currents. Na? So the total current is 2.53, but I1 is 1.33 ohms uh, amperes 1.33 amperes and i sub 2 is 1.2 amperes uh, i need record that one please next we will check our voltage in our resistance one so this is our voltage for resistance one we have 18 volts no? so v1 our V sub 2 is 18. also 18 volts. Huh? So this is V2, 18. I, our earlier value for V1 is also 18. Our I1 is 1.33 and I2 is 1.2. Did you, do you have a question? Okay, now we turn off our circuit. So that's our trial one. Huh? Let's go for our trial two. And trial two will involve, no? we will increase our resistance one to another value. So we will now have R1 to be 19.5 and R2 to be 25. Okay, so let's remove our... Voltmeter first. Now we will turn on our circuit and check our current. No? So 
So this time our total current is 1.64 ohm amperes. Our I1 is 0.92. Our I2 is 0.72. No? You get that one? Can I hear some yes, sir. sound? I1. Yes, sir. To I2. Oh, sir. Oh, sir. Our total current is 1.64. Let's check our voltage, V1. V1 now is 18. Let's check our V2. V2 is 18. So both of them are 18, 18 volts. No? Okay, now uh, let's increase our... Let's turn off our circuit first. No? Okay, now let's... Uh, let's increase our resistance. This, way, this is now trial 3, Tama? Yes, sir. Okay, so trial 3 we will have 32.5 for R1. And maybe 44, no? 44. So we have 42.5 for R2, no? Okay, let's energize our last trial. And please take note of our current. No? Total current. And this is I1, 0.55, and I2, which is 0 0.42. No? Okay, our V sub 1 is... What do you think is V sub 1? 18. So here it is still... 18, no? 18. And then our V sub 2 is 18. So, sakto si Jason, no? Okay, so that's basically our data, no? When we gather our data for our last experiment number uh, number number 5, no? Okay, so you can screenshot this so you can get a diagram for your for your uh, illustration. Nah? Okay, so that's for our experiment number five. Any question? No question. 